Hi, Perceptive Readers. This is James Lynch. I want to actually talk about a subject that I, I very rarely talk about, as you know, because I don't like really putting people into categories and, um, and labels, even medical and technical terms and things of that nature. Um, I want to start off by mentioning uh, the lighthearted, um, with good chill and feeling, uh, the name that I always say, Dr. Taylor Swift. You know, when I say Dr. Taylor Swift, then I'm most likely going to mention some type of speech she's given, uh, some type of uh, quote, life quote she's given as well. And uh, you've heard me uh, talk about her intelligence, which I will not go into much on here. Um, but here is something that I uh, want to mention from one of her songs um, and then also an interview, uh, a clip of an interview that she gave. And the first thing I want to talk about is one of the problems that I told you that I really have uh, with with the Matrix is that what was shown on TV, which I'll tell you is a documentary. Uh, see, that's just a certain uh, narrative or anything that pops up whenever a person does this or that. And so I'm going to address the elephant um, in the room just by telling you to reference my podcast that talked about ego and enlightenment. So you go back and listen to that if, if you like. Now, let me address also about uh, the Dr. Taylor Swift, the uh, anti-hero song, and where she talked about how um, the lyrics go something about her covert narcissism is disguised as some type of um, altruism and like a congressman uh, tell us, you know, I, I didn't say it. I know it directly the way that she says it, because, you know, that's one song I haven't uh, uh, hummed the tune to. Like I've done some of her other songs. Uh, there's actually, uh, you know, um, many of her songs in the past that, boy, if I get to hum in the tune, it'll stay in my mind all day. Where Antihero isn't one of them. I enjoyed the video. And I appreciate, once again, the lyrics. So I enjoy the song. It's just not one of those ones that, you know, continue to uh, uh, go over and over in my mind. But I still want to address uh, this uh, uh, in hopes to help somebody uh, to realize from experience. And, and I think more experience is more than experience being wrapped up what I'm about to share with you. Uh, so that what was stated in the anti-hero where she was talking about, uh, I guess, referencing herself from one of those uh, um, interviews where people were talking about her inspiration for the songs, which comes from uh, uh, prompts. And also, really, she says that's the way she was feeling at times. I'm just telling <laughs> I'm not going to say no more about that, but. The other thing in one interview where the interviewer was actually um, congratulating her, giving her kudos as far as being as talented as she is and, you know, uh, her many successes. And see, she once again spoke in a modest approach way of basically saying uh, that um, she does realize uh, she should be appreciative, basically, of her job and things of that nature. And she even said uh, that her job is not that hard, you, you know, so to always really appreciate uh, that or what she got and that is not difficult or what have you. And, you know, one thing that I want to share with you, perceptive readers, is this. You know, as I stated before, you know, far be it from me uh, 
to go against the way a person may be feeling at this moment and at this time. But what I am going to say is all you have to do is continue to look at some of the things that she actually experienced over the years from her masters to dealing with um, contracts to dealing with people who really didn't have her best interests at heart. See, you don't hear about all of that. And you just have to pay very close attention to, um, you know, sometimes the headlines, even though, you know, I'm one person who don't care too much uh, for gossip. Uh, just like what happened this year alone uh, with a transition, apparently, that's no longer rumor uh, from, um, one close relationship she had with a person and apparently that close relationship, see, is now no longer on that same level. And you know, one of the thoughts that went through my mind as I saw actually uh, an image of that relationship, the, the older one, from everything that I could just see from even past interviews of the opposite party, you know what the thought went through my mind? It went, and I went through my mind was saying, I still bet that person on the other side of that relationship uh, that is no longer on that level is most likely still some pain going through this individual. And so that's why when all the rumors and everything that was going around about this ending and that ending, that's why if you notice, I, I didn't post not one link. I might have posted one, and that was in on the minds.com. Uh, I don't even think I posted it at all. And like I said, I just left that alone. I just left it alone. But see, with that all being said, I, I want to get back uh, to many of the things that she's done for causes that she believes in, uh, people uh, that she's helped on a wide scale, you see. So with all of that being said, I'm here to tell, uh, tell you today that it just doesn't fit according to a, a, a real narcissist modus operandi. I admit, Many of them can give charity all day long. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but at the same time, uh, there's a different, there's a, there's just a different mode of operation. So simply put, this is what I found in my life and I stand by it. Persons are real narcissists. They will go to great lengths to control your life. They can't help themselves. They will break Ten Commandments to do it. They will break principles, all the while justifying why they're doing it. Persons who are not narcissists, but may still have a strong sense of self and their personal boundaries. And yes, even eccentric tastes. That's what I want to emphasize. They can have all those things, even eccentric tastes. They may be accused of being a narcissist, but I'm here to tell you today that they're not. Because I say again, real narcissists will control your life, will do their best to control your life. Other persons who are not, but may have eccentric taste, they will be called narcissists at times just because they know who they are, but they're not. Because I've, uh, if you want to go to that podcast that I talked about, vices on, as I stated before, there's been persons that I've known over the years who have had vices. Uh, and yet, as I mentioned, when they were cool with you, would be some of the nicest, most insightful people in the world. However, people, again, who just didn't like them as far as what they were drinking, what they were smoking, what they were engaging in, would call them all sorts of names. And you know something, and thinking just today, I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> that some of those persons who were actually picking on these eccentric people, they were the narcissists. 
because they was trying to still control something, stop this person from doing something that, again, they had every right to do in their life creatively or otherwise, because it was only between them and, once again, their preference, whether they agree with it or not. You can't break laws trying to make somebody to obey a like or dislike of yours. That's what narcissists do. Okay? Now you've heard my statement on the matter. So I want to emphasize again, you see somebody dressed up real nice. You see somebody wearing a full red suit or what have you. Is that person a giver? Is that person, once again, an encourager? Is that person, uh, uh, once again, just <laughs> know how to respect other people's boundaries? Uh-uh. That person is not a real narcissist. That is just a person, once again, that can appreciate all the wide ranges of colors of feelings and emotions that even the grand creator himself put into us because there is a time and place for everything. And especially when you got a real friend around you, a real friend will once again help you to enjoy uh, your happiness, celebrate your happiness with you, not looking for ways to tear you down every time you show or express another aspect of your personality where there's nothing wrong with it. Have a very wonderful day, perceptive readers. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. Music